Hi guys, welcome back. I thought I'd do a bit of a drill with me today on my most recent diamond painting that I bought of the Tatty Teddies and tell you a little bit about the things I like to do because no one really knows anything about me on here. Um, before we do that, I, I'd just like to say I reached 107 subscribers I think this morning and I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to all my subscribers. To be honest, I never even thought I'd hit 100, so the fact that I have and I've gone past it is amazing. Um, I am going to do a little giveaway. It won't be anything major, but just a little something, just to say thank you ever so much. So just watch out for the video coming up in the next um, couple of weeks. I'm just waiting for the item I've ordered to arrive. And then I'll do the video. So, we'll crack on with this. Right. I'm a bit of a an all-round crafter. I like to try my hand at a lot of things. I started cross-stitching when I was 18. That was my first big... craft I suppose that became a big thing um, I have done quite a few cross stitches now first I like to do the cartoony ones but as you find new ones you find your taste changes and that's exactly what I did I found heaven and earth designs and I picked my first one when my daughter was two, she's ten now, so that was a while ago. And I really, really, although it took me seven years to complete it, I really enjoyed doing it. I've just got to frame it now. I'll just show you what that is, actually, because I have it here. I'll just pick you up for a second, just for a second. This is what I did. It's called Pretty in Pink. And I think the, the only reason it took me so long to complete was because you don't realise just how many colours it takes to make up one little section. I mean, I think there was 20 odd colours just in one of them little butterflies. That was a lot, but I like it now it's done and she loves it so I've just got to find a frame big enough for it. Sorry I'm not you. So yeah, um, in between then I learnt to crochet. My mum taught me to knit when I was young but she gave up with me partly because I kept dropping stitches. I could knit and I could peel but <laughs> I dropped stitches left, right and centre and she never taught me how to pick them back up so um, well my mum sadly passed away in 2001 and I made it my mission in her honour I suppose to learn to knit properly so I did with the help of many many YouTube videos I now know how to knit and from there it progressed on to crochet. I started knitting baby blankets, baby cardigans, baby booties, hats. Then I started making kids cartoon hats I suppose. Um, things like the Hulk, uh, Spider-Man, you can see them all on YouTube. And not that it bored me anymore, but I lost. You have a bit of a moment where it's not that it doesn't interest you anymore. You just need to take a break from it. And that's when I came across, uh, it was still crochet, 
but it was called Grafgan making. And that's exactly what I've been doing ever since until I found diamond painting. Now the Grafgan making, you take, for those who don't know, some of you will probably already will, but you take a picture and it's like a cross stitch chart really, because it's in squares exactly the same. And you just crochet and you change colours. I know Jennifer from Jennifer's Diamond Painting and Cross Stitch Wall does it. And it's just one of them things I find so relaxing. I just sit there, follow a picture, change colours when I need to. And by the end of it, you've got this really nice looking picture blanket. I have my very first one was a frozen one. I did Elsa for a friend. Um, my second one. What was my second one? That could have been for my son. I did. He was heavily into The Walking Dead. So I found a picture. It's a silhouette of a few of the characters. Well, one of the characters on two zombies she's got on him. On chains. He loved that. Then I did my next son. He's heavily into wrestling, WrestleMania and all that malarkey. So I actually designed that one myself. I did the, the WWE symbol. I think that went in the middle. Um, I did Roman Reigns's logo so to speak I think at the top along with Dean Ambrose the D and the A and then at the bottom I put you can't see me which is his name escapes me now but yeah from there I did a monster high one for another friend it's amazing how many friends you get when you do crafts like that everyone wants one um, then I did a My Little Pony one for my daughter Where did I go from there? I did a My Little Pony one for my sister's friend. She looked at mine and that was it. Um, then I did a Toy Story one for my youngest son. Absolutely mad on Toy Story and Monsters Inc. But Toy Story was, was the winner when it came to the blanket. Um, since then I've done my niece a Harry Potter one um, a nice young lady online had actually designed their faces into square charts all you had to do was copy it and that's exactly what I did I did eight faces and the Slytherin badge in the middle And apart from the Harry Potter one, I always put names on the blankets. Just personalises it, makes it a little bit more special. And I'm currently working on a minion one for my sister-in-law. And she's totally unaware of it. So every time she texts to say she's on her way round, it's a mad rush to hide my frame. and Because I can't just sit with it on my lap. I have it attached to a clothes area. It just makes it easy to sit on the settee and stitch away. I'll show you that in a minute because it's right there. And then I found diamond painting, of course. 
and now this has kind of taken over a little bit but I love all things that relax everyone gets stressed out so they need something that chills them out a little bit and there's several things that do that for me let me just get this in and I'll show you I'm hoping I can where I've got to so far it's a bit hard because I've got all the ends still that I need to sew in but you can kind of see let me show you let's take you off there this is my current work in progress and my crochet I don't know why she loves minions but she does and this is how I have it set up on clothes area. I can't work with the pegs just all loose, they all flap everywhere and get in my way so, so yeah. I haven't actually worked on that very much the last few days. I think the diamond painting's kind of taken over my life a little bit. Which I don't mind. Them blankets don't take long to whip together, not really. When you're experienced, you know what you're doing. So how's everyone's week going so far? I don't know why but I just feel tired and I feel like it should be Friday today. And yesterday was a bad day. You have hospital appointments you have to go to, you go and you end up sitting there for an hour past your appointment time and you go and ask you know, I'm still sitting here. She rings through to the lady I'm supposed to see and the lady says, oh my gosh, I did my list in the wrong order. I am so sorry. And the lady who was meant to go after me had actually took my appointment and already gone home. So yeah, just a rotten day yesterday. And you don't feel like doing much after that. I thought, I don't know if it, if I will stick to it, but I was going to save this diamond painting just for Drill With Me's. So you could all see it coming along as I do it. I don't know if that will change. You know what it's like when you're just itching to do something. Oops. I'm not sure if you can hear that tune, but that's my washing machine. It plays a silly tune when it's finished, just to let you know it's finished. I could turn it off, but I haven't figured out how. So every time the washing machine's finished, it plays a little tune. been itching to get this one started. I keep looking at it but I wanted to do a drill with me and I just haven't had the time until now. So it 
eats at you, doesn't it? When you really want to start something, but you've got to put it off. Because you're saving it for something specific. Oops. No good sticking myself to the canvas. I think I'm going to get my blanket out this afternoon. I've done this this morning. Needs finishing. He was hoping, my brother, that I could do it for Christmas, but what with the Harry Potter one that only took me, I think, two months. It just wasn't possible. If I can because I'm still quite new to all this YouTube thing and I've never really edited a video apart from sticking two bits together when my phone decided it wanted to do other things I'm not very good with editing or anything like that but I will try I'll give it a go and stick a picture in of the Harry Potter blanket I did because it was amazing my niece's face when she opened it all she could say was Wow. Just wow. <laughs> and it was huge as well. It came out bigger than I was expecting it to. So to take a photo of it. I'm not very tall. I'm only about 5'4". So I had to get my other half. It was about 6 foot. To hold it up in the air so I could take a decent picture of it. And even he had to hold it above his head, so. But my niece is 19, she's not, she's not little, so it'll cover her bed nicely. Or her. She likes to sit on the settee with it now. Mind you, I'm like that. You can't be sitting on a, on a sofa with a nice warm blanket. Watching the telly. And a nice cup of hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's upside down, you Wally. Dear me. Just shook me tray and one's fell on the floor. It's not good. I've missed one. Although I love diamond painting, I've got to say my pet hate is when I think I've done like a section of all the one colour. You put it away, you get your next colour out, and as you're going around, you find one of the colour you've just put away. All on its lonesome. Then you have to go and get it out again. I think that's it. Nope. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm an impatient person, but 
perhaps a little OCD. I like everything to be not perfect, but when it comes to my blankets, yes. I'm terrible if I mess up one, one stitch on a row, I have to undo the entire row. Even if my, my friend who sits here on a Thursday with me, because we have a crochet day on a Thursday, she, I taught her how to make these blankets, which she cusses me for sometimes. But it's funny. Um, she'll look at it and go, but you can't tell. But the problem is I know. And the fact that I know is the only reason I have to undo it. Because I know the mistake is there. Silly. I'm exactly the same with cross stitch. If I put a stitch in the wrong area. And I realise later on I have to undo it. Those of you who cross stitch will know what a nightmare that can be trying to undo when you've sewn in your ends and because I like to sew in my ends as I go. Apart from on the blanket, there's not too many ends, which is why I've left it. But yeah. Now, for this diamond painting, because I don't have a lot of money, money's a bit of an issue in this house. I found, instead of the Tic Tac boxes and the lockables that everyone else has been buying, I found these. They're, they're on Amazon. I do static. On Amazon, I do believe. And all they are are sauce pots for like takeaway. Now they're okay, but I can't show you it on that one. I'll show you this one. It has a little lip here that you're supposed to be able to open the pot with. Now, you do have to put a bit of pressure to get the pot open, and when you do, the lip snaps off, which is annoying. Fortunately, I can just put my nail in the edge of the pot there and pop the lid. So it's not an issue, but it's annoying. They were £3 something, I think, for 50 pots. I only needed 40 first time in painting, so that was alright. I don't mind them, they're pretty good. Right, what are we working on next? Hmm. P. Now, this painting is a mixture of numbers, letters, and symbols. 3806. So it can be a little. Oh, where have you gone? There you are. Another lips just snapped off. Oh, frustrating. It's a good job I can open them. Oh, it's static, they're going everywhere. Really? And I cut my nails off this morning so they were annoying me and now I can't pick anything up. It's all good fun. Really? Okay. to the next. This painting has a lot. See there doesn't even look any difference there does there? Between that one and that one. Oh there is. Yeah there is. Only very slight but I suppose that makes for good shading. Anyway this painting has a lot of pinks. I'm just wondering how much it's going to do my head in. Very confettied in the corners. But I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying diamond painting. And so are my kids. When I get mine out, they all get theirs out too. Only I don't have a massive dining table, but when you're trying to fit one adult and three kids 
with their diamond paintings on the table. That's fun. Oh, that's gone twisted. Can't have twisted. Come on, behave. I'm only going to make this video about half an hour. I don't want to bore you too much, guys. Actually, if I figure it out, if I figure it out, I have photos of all the blankets I've made so far. I even did a Mickey Mouse one. And I donated that to a cat charity for them to sell, my local cat charity. If I figure it out, I'll put all the pictures at the end. So you can have a, a look at what I... Oh, that one's just did. All the other things I get up to, shall we say. And the best part about making the blankets is you watch the picture come to life as you're stitching row by row. And then I personalise it at the end. I put their name at the top. In big letters, I don't just, you know, it's nothing small. And then to watch their faces when they when they see it for the first time. That's what makes it worthwhile. The blanket I just showed you is in single crochet. And the other blankets that you'll see I did in a stitch called Tunisian simple stitch which makes the pictures just a little bit crisper and clearer but the Tunisian stitch it has to be my favourite out of the two although it takes longer the results are like I said clearer I can see the difference between the pinks now. I think you probably can't, but oh, oh really. I'd just like to say once again, thank you so, so much to everyone who subscribed to me so far. You wouldn't believe what a massive confidence boost that is. Because until now, I've always been quite a shy, quiet person. Normally keep myself to myself. And to know that people are actually subscribing because they want to see my videos is it's beyond words it's really really nice so thank you ever so much because I never ever expected to get as far as I have just like I said keep an eye out for um, a giveaway video in the next couple of weeks I'm an indecisive person, so picking something to give away <laughs> has taken me ages. I started looking when I hit, I think, 71 subscribers. I started looking then, 
and I only decided I think two days ago I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this now for just drill with me's because I'm enjoying it and I don't want to make the video too long but yeah so we'll finish in a minute and you can all enjoy the rest of your Tuesday Sorry guys, my phone just cut off on me, I heard it beep. Sorry about that. But anyway, I was going to finish it about here anyway. I'll finish the video and I'll just finish doing this uh, this colour on this corner here. And save it for another time, hopefully. So, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Sorry, button. It's so lazy when I talk sometimes. That one's twisted. I don't like it. Um, hit the bell button notification so you'll be notified on oh my days when I upload another video. Keep your eyes open for the giveaway one in a week or so. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you at some point. Um, yeah, happy diamond painting. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.